Hey everyone, it's Natasha. So I thought I would do a little like week before school vlog and how I'm prepping for back to school. So if you're new here, I'm a large family homeschool mom and teacher. I've taught in public, private, and online schools. And this year I'm teaching a micro school in my home. Hence this, I've got tons of stuff from Dollar Tree on the tables that I need to get put away and sorted through. And we have a week exactly until school starts. So I kind of just wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing and how I'm prepping for the school so year. So right now I am laminating. I have laminated my punctuation signs and my story sequence chart. This is from IEW's Primary Arts of Language curriculum. I'm also laminating these secret story cards and then I gotta cut them out. And so I did purchase these. It has a picture on the front and then on the back, it's a secret, which is a little story to help them remember that special sound, that digraph, that blend, whatever it is. And so I'm laminating them um, here. And yeah, so got all those. And then I am also going to tape these onto some Ziploc bags that I got yesterday. And I started filling out postcards for my students. So I'm gonna, I sent three out, but I have to send the rest out and I gotta get those ready and get the stamps on them and get those sent out so they'll get them this week before school starts. So that's what I'm working on right now. like surveys for the students to mark for their create time. That's the last like hour of our day where they get to do project-based learning. And so I just wanted to get an idea of what types of things they're interested in. So I put, broke it down into art, media, theater, writing, technology, and other. And so I'm going to have the students just mark what they are interested in, just so I can get an idea of the types of things they're interested in. Okay, so I got all these laminated, and now I'm going to hole punch them in the corner and put them on a binder ring. I don't know which size, depends on how big it is, probably one of the bigger ones. And then I've got all the cards addressed and stamped, and most of them uh written a little note on i have three more i need to write a note on then i can get those out today and then i still have to do the bags so i want to do the cards first actually <laughs> And yes, I am sending one to my own children. <laughs> I actually had my older children who are adults and a teenager in my class at least one year when I was teaching in brick and mortar school. And I always sent them a postcard too. And I think there's something sweet about getting a handwritten postcard from your teacher. Bags. Just putting the tape 
a piece of tape over the whole thing like that. about an hour to get all of that done. So now I'm going to go print some things out on my Cricut. I need a well work sign and I need a first aid sign for my little cute first aid bag and maybe that's it. Okay, so I'm in my office now, which is separate from the classroom and I wanted to show you these coasters I made the other day with my Cricut and infusible ink. So I made that one and this book and this one for theater. And there was a science one too, but I totally messed that one up. But nevertheless, this is infusible ink. So as you can see, this is not any vinyl. It's not, it won't come off. You can wash it. It's, it's infused into the ceramic. So I was really proud of myself for that. I thought those were cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I got this little bag from Dollar Tree. It's actually a lunchbox. But I'm going to make it my first aid bag. So I'm thinking... On the top, I'm going to write first aid, or should I do it on the side? Probably the top, I'll probably do it on the top. So I've got just white vinyl, and I'm going to hope it sticks to this, basically. I don't think an iron-on will work with this, but I'm thinking just the regular premium vinyl will work. So hopefully, if not, then oh well, I've only wasted $1.25. So I'm gonna try that and see how that goes. Okay, so if you've never seen a cricket work, you will see the magic. <laughs> so it first measures out the material. Make sure they have enough. And then that lights up, push that. It's going to cut it out. That's where you put the infusible ink pads if you're using them, which I'm not. It's the name of vinyl. If you have smart vinyl, you don't have to have a mat, but if you're not using smart vinyl, then you do have to have a mat. And also you can do smaller pieces of vinyl if you have a mat. So if you have smart vinyl, like the smallest piece is gonna be this 12 by 12 that you can use. Okay, so then I'm gonna push that button. It's going to release it. Okay, you can't really see it. You can't see it at all, but it does say first date. So let me pull it off here and show you. Okay, it turned out perfect. I absolutely love it. So I actually think I'm going to do like a first aid symbol on the front and the back or something, or maybe I'll put my school on one side and the first aid symbol on the back. I don't know, but I'm gonna hang this in my classroom. And then when we're going on a field trip, I can grab it and stick it in my backpack. And so it'll be portable and I will have it all ready. So I just love that for $1.25, can't be beat. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at what's wrong. The zipper's broken. Just kidding, zipper's not broken. I don't know what the deal was with that, but um, I just zipped it and unzipped it and it's fine. So, okay, let me finish making this. Oh my goodness, it's exactly how I envisioned. I just stuffed it with paper towels so we could get the full effect. But first aid with the little first aid symbol. And that is so cute.
cute. I was maybe going to put my school logo on the back, but I think I'm actually just going to get a luggage tag from Dollar Tree and stick it on here. That way um, I can have all my contact information in case I do happen to leave it somewhere. But um, isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, adorable, $1.25, you cannot beat that. Okay, so I made this little wow work uh, decal from my Cricut for my wow work. I tried to kind of balance it out with that because that kind of comes lower. So I thought if that was underneath there, it kind of balances it out. And this I added since my classroom tour video. So this is an Ikea curtain rod. I've used these for many years in many classrooms. And that's a free printable off of TPT. And then the little clips are from the Target dollar spot. The ones that go with the Ikea curtain rod slide. And so every time I have my air on, it would go and they'd all go down that way. So having the clips work a lot better. I think I'm gonna end it here. I've been working for two hours. So I'm gonna take a break and go clean out, clean the downstairs of my house. So if you guys want to see more of these prep videos, let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And that tells me that you wanna see more of these videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.